hello everyone and welcome again time to start google sheets tutorial fourth video which is all about how to design your sheet to highlight trends and insert object in your data sheet if you haven't watched my other videos about google sheets please check the playlist in my channel data management in google sheets or click the card right corner of your screen last video we learned design data sheet format to grow column conditional formatting and creating heat map we are well on our way to add another step to our google sheets game in this video we are going to learn how to highlight key data points in our sheet and enter object in our data sheet Hence, we are going to learn how to use freeze, unfreeze, hide, resize, and group columns and rows. Use color style and banding to improve data sheet design. There's almost a limitless number of ways to design your spreadsheet. Then we move to how can we add our images, checkboxes, and hyperlink in our data sheet. And after watching this video, you will have basic understanding about them. I will start my work from my last video, Google Sheets tutorial, design data sheet. Check the right corner of your screen for link. And before leaving, please like, subscribe my channel and click the bell button for getting update videos notification. Okay, let's start. Now we are going to dive deep about how to highlight key data points in your spreadsheet. Let's cover how to freeze and unfreeze rows and columns to help us better view and navigate this document. We can choose to freeze important rows and columns so they remain visible as you scroll around the data set. Set your cursor where you want to put your freeze. Let's freeze the header title. So let's do this row, open view, select freeze. Then we'll choose our row. Let's do a column too. It could make it easier for people to navigate data associated with movie titles. If we make these columns frozen, that way these columns will also be in view no matter how far to the right they are looking. In the opposite way, you can unfreeze your data, go to the same option and just select no row or no column. Let's showcase how to hide or show rows and columns. So why would we want to do that? Well, it might not be essential for us to show all our data all the time. So Sheets gives us the option to hide data in our spreadsheets. For example, let's say we did not need all this information about the cast. Choose the column you want to hide. Right click the column selection to show us our options and we are going to select height columns. We can do the same thing with rows. Right click on the row to show us our choices and select height row. We'll find this visual indicator here that a row has been hidden. It's easier to expand this data and show it again. Just click right here.
let's go over how to resize rows and columns the data you put in each cell might come in different sizes or lengths and sometimes it's nice to format things to reflect that often this trick can help make your spreadsheet look more organized we can quickly resize a column by simply double clicking on the column you want to resize so this automatically expands the column so the content fits perfectly nice we can use the same technique with rows just double click on the row that you want to resize this will automatically adapt the width so all content shows you can manually adjust width of a rows or columns as well right click on a row to see the options well select resize columns or resize row here we can either choose to fit to data or we can manually set a pixel count Now let's do group rows and columns. Sometimes we want to collapse different areas so the spreadsheet is easier to navigate. For example, let's select the director's columns. So right click to open our options. Select group columns together. This will create a gap in the grid to notify a group column has been created. Using this visual indicator, you can choose to expand and show the content again if you want. And finally, reverse way you can ungroup them by right click and select ungroup columns. We can customize the spreadsheet with all sorts of different fill colors and text colors. Open borders, choose which type of border you want to apply. Customize the border color and border style. Let's border one of our tables. Let's do banding. This feature help you to differentiate your data with alternate color. Select the first cell on this row and this column. Let's open format. 
select alternating colors now we can see different color options and customization options you can organize as your choice Let's start insert object in our datasheet. Let's add images first to our spreadsheet. This is extremely helpful when we sort out our data associated with images. We can put images directly inside of cells. Let's select insert and select image. We have two options here. You can see image in cell or image over cell. Go ahead and locate and upload our image. See you have some different source options here. I want to use this image. I have already saved on my computer. I show you another option is image in cell. How we can use it. You can add checkboxes to cells in a spreadsheet. Let's do this. Select the cells or columns you want to have checkboxes in. Open insert, click checkbox, and we are going to center align this checkbox. And to remove a checkbox, simply clear the cell. How to do hyperlinks in your data? 
There are two ways of including hyperlinks to your sheets. You can type the link manually or you can copy and paste your link into a cell. So let's manually type in a link into this row. Okay, now let's copy and paste the link into a cell. And those are the two different ways, pretty simple. Okay, there you go. We can also hyperlink data or text in a cell. I like to use this feature a lot. Alright, select the item you want to hyperlink and click up here. Then it will be automatically added as a link. Okay, now final result. If you have watched my other three videos, you can easily differentiate the condition of data before and after the design. I believe my data management in Google Sheet playlist will help you to level up your Google Sheet skill. Please like, subscribe my channel and click the bell button to get the update videos notification. My next video is supercharge your google sheet, please like, subscribe my channel and click the bell button to get the update video notification. See your text videos.